Hey guys, it's Sean O'Connell, the managing editor here at Cinema Blend. And as you can tell behind me, I am in Las Vegas for this year's CinemaCon presentation. And last night was the Sony panel where they had a sizzle reel of all footage from their movies coming out in the rest of 2021 and 2022. Through that, we got to see the very first official trailer for December's release of Spider-Man No Way Home. You can go watch that trailer here on the site. We have it in full. But there's a topic that came up during that trailer that everybody's talking about this morning, and that is Doctor Strange. As you can tell in the trailer, it's Doctor Strange who meets with Peter and agrees to help him cast a spell that is going to have everybody forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. At the very end of Far From Home, Mysterio revealed that Peter Parker's secret identity is Spider-Man, and now it's causing all sorts of problems for Peter in his personal life. But not just for him, but for the people that he loves, his Aunt May, MJ, his best friend Ned. So he goes to the Avenger who he thinks can help him the most, and that's Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange agrees to uh, cast a spell that's gonna let everybody forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. But fans today are wondering if that's actually something that Stephen Strange would do. There's a lot of theories going around and speculation that this version of Doctor Strange that we see in the No Way Home trailer might be some type of variant uh, or somebody posing as Doctor Strange. And I'm here to tell you that I do not believe that theory one bit. The biggest reason why is just because they did that entire uh, bait and switch in Far From Home when it came to Nick Fury. We thought it was Nick Fury throughout the course of the whole movie and at the end it turned out that it was a Skrull, it was Taylor. I don't see them doing it again for the very next movie, and I also know that there are some plot points that are going to be coming out in No Way Home that will involve the real Doctor Strange helping Peter pick up some of these multiverse villains that we met at the end of the trailer. The trailer suggests that the Green Goblin um, and Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus from the two Sam Raimi films are going to be returning in this film. We saw hints of two other villains, Sandman and Electro. They're going to be part of this uh, new movie as well too, possibly building to a Sinister Six movie. There is a shot of Doctor Strange uh, doing that astral plane where he knocks Peter out of his body. That one for sure is the real Doctor Strange and there, if there's any indication that the Doctor Strange who cast the spell is some sort of imposter, it could be that the movie starts with him as being an imposter and the real Doctor Strange has to clean up the mess. However, we see Doctor Strange conducting a very complicated spell and I don't see any other um, sorcerer being at his level to be able to do that. So even though it's fun to speculate and there's a lot of stuff going on in this trailer, I don't think the theory that Doctor Strange is not Doctor Strange holds up. I'm confident that that is definitely Stephen Strange played by Benedict Cumberbatch. And you'll see how it all plays out when the film finally hits on December 17th. I really understand why everybody is so fired up. We got to see the trailer for the first time. First footage from this movie. Now we sit back and wait. Probably get a second trailer in a month or two, maybe attached to Eternals when it opens in November. And then we'll be sitting down for Spider-Man No Way Home when it hits theaters exclusively on December 17th. Oh, <laughs>